<clears throat> hey, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a whole lot of fun putting that together over the long weekend. We built that little house and and got to put a little video together with it. And I thought that was pretty neat. We've been using those mini block now for trade shows and architectural presentations, engineering events, things like that. And they've been fantastic. And hopefully soon you guys will be able to get your hands on them because we've had a lot of you guys asking for them. So we've got to work on that, right? Hey, I want to show you a few of the trade shows that we've done in 2019 that just pushed us a little bit off the edge just a little bit different because we had some different products we can work with and I've done this for it's going 25 years now almost half my life I've worked with ICFs has been crazy crazy trip but I've always tried to do trade booths that people question that people stop and they say now why did you do that because that made them stop that's why I did it and now I can start talking about it I've done booths sideways, upside down. I've done booths that are hanging out over the edge and should not be able to stay there because they look like they're going to fall over. I've had booths that were curved and round and tall. All different types of booths through the years. It's been a whole lot of fun being able to experiment and push it to the limits, right? So just a few small booths that we did. I want to show you one here. This is going with the same theme of mini block. I'll just put it up on the screen. I'll talk. You guys just watch this. I started with two tables put together in our cloth over top. And then I laid out the block just like it comes out of the truck. So it looks like a job site. And then we had school buses come with grade 7 and 8 students. And they would start building with the block. Now these students happen to be the, the children of the contractors in the area. So worked out pretty good because then the kids got to go home and tell their dads about fox blocks. And then in between those bus loads we had some kids that weren't doing much so we started building walls and then to tear them down I thought hey let's do some slow motion. And this this was an afternoon that was a whole lot of fun. Uh, we had we had a whole bunch of kids. We must have had a few dozen kids building different booths and different um, buildings on the table using the Fox mini brick and then when they were done here we tipped another one over just to end this one that was a lot of fun that was a very good show um, that we did contractor event it was open to the public in the afternoon and contractors in the evening for supper so it was a supper show for us very good show so now I'm gonna change it up a little bit I'll stop that and I want to show you another booth that we did this one was inspired by this job here on this picture. This was done up in um, Sandy Hook, Manitoba. Uh, Gabrielski Concrete built a house for his son. And this whole wall here was concrete. That was all Fox blocks. And I think I did another video showing how I put that together. If not, I need to because that was a fun, fun job. It's coming to an end now. They just moved in. But this is all concrete, every post going up. And what we did is we considered this a, con a lintel all the way across. And this center post was a backbone. And then this was a lintel across. All the other parts were just decorative, but we still filled them full of concrete. Had a lot of fun doing that, and it inspired me to do a booth. So let's walk through that booth. I'll put that up on the screen here. It started with me doing some sketches. I just got my book out and started to sketch. A 10 by 10 booth, very small booth, but they wanted something different. So what I did is I drew it up to use Fox Buck. Now first thing I did was I cut pieces of block. I got two pieces out of one block, so eight lineal feet. Then I glued Fox Buck to it. And here you can see me laying Fox Buck out. I had already taped it together. And I put those pieces on, more Fox Buck, and then, you know, spray foam expands. So I got to put some weight on it, so I used chairs left it overnight and then I took the chairs off and there I've got my pillar. Now I used these ones, they, they were strong. This was the lid that you see here. And then I just laid it out and it was just rough. Like I didn't really care, I just wanted a good look. So that's what I look, looked for as I got a good look and laid it out to the way I liked it. No specific measurement. And then I made two mirror images of it. 
And here I'm putting it together a, a one by six actually slid right in there really good. And I put this together like post and beam so there are no screws. I could deliver it onto the job and just lift it up like this and boom I've got myself my display booth. Up on the top I actually put our compact panels just one side of it across the lid and I left two holes in the back and put LED lights in there and my goodness it just glowed it was a wonderful booth. There we got our mini block in the booth We've got our Fox cups all our brochures there's Ron Funk doing his shtick inside the booth. He's a fantastic guy to have in a booth and I've got the banners in the back but the thing just glowed. People just loved it. So that was a really neat little booth design that we had. We did that in Winnipeg, Manitoba in the winter time. That was kind of a neat and fun thing to do. So just remember when you're working with Fox Blocks, you don't have to make it look like a Fox Blocks house. You can change it up and drag people into your house or into the booth like a magnet and then once they question why you did what you did now you can get out your portfolio, your books, your pictures and you can show them exactly how to do um, their house and how you would build it for them. So that's how I do booths. Hope that, hope you enjoyed that. Now I'm ending this in my office videos because the, the uh, build season has started. I get to leave my office and go onto job sites and take some videos there. So hopefully in the coming weeks I'll be able to put videos up from that. If you watch after the ending here, I'm going to have a video of how we tore that booth down and you're going to be able to see the lid and how we packaged it all up and fit it in my van. So I hope you enjoy that and we'll see you on the next video. We got it all in the truck. It's snowing. There's Ron. The hall is just about all shut down and we're about to head out that direction to find something to eat. <laughs>